Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification gang, Key Talk gang. Give it all the really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So trash talking Charles was at the MGM Grand tonight, and pretty much trash talking Charles. You know he's been traveling for business and stuff like that, and he actually ran into Meek Mill and his whole crew. Now here's the thing about it: of course, trash talking Charles have been been extremely disrespectful online. He said he's completely against black people killing other black people. He feels that the rappers promote black people killing black people, which actually has resulted to many wars going on inside the inner cities. Anyways, but the the way trash talking Charles actually goes about getting his message across, he does some of the most disrespectful stuff. He copies what pretty much the rappers are actually doing, like if they dissing to their homies, he's doing pretty much all that and showing them exactly what they doing and how they doing. And you know, talking a lot of them are now saying that they after him and stuff like that. Anyways, so trash talking Charles ran into Meek Mill and his crew. He pretty much said he was surrounded by fifty people. You know, what I'm talking about, but being surrounded by fifty people, you probably think that they would try to cage him in and go ahead and you know, Maybe had to pull out that mace again like he did last time against Soldier Boy and them. But this time he said he made it out without having a spray of mace. And he also made it out untouched after being surrounded by 50 men. You already know. Whenever the rappers are rolling around, especially when they're at a place like the MGM Grand or something like that, you know what I'm talking about? Man, they're going to have the whole gang gang with them just in case anybody runs over. They got to turn somebody to a pack. You know what I'm talking about? They got to protect the bag. Anyways. Now, it is starting to look like, you know, that the rappers are understanding that Trash Talk and Charles is literally a community activist. You know what I'm talking about? That's online acting like this, but also doing actual community active work in real life. You know what I'm talking about? And his words may be tearing people and making, rubbing people all the wrong way, but what he does behind the scenes as far as for the community, y'all talking about, they understand it. okay, they really do this, but y'all talking about, that hey, old man is disrespectful and I just want to get him. Now, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure, I don't know if there's maybe video of this, there's 50 people surrounding, I'm sure somebody got video of it, uh, probably just like the Civic County Breezy video that, you know, with Trash Talk and Charles came out, I'm sure there'll be some type of video, something like that as well. Now, uh, yeah, I guess we will call this, include this within the War on Gangs as well. Like I said, the last time we spoke about the War on Gangs, y'all talking about, he had just pretty much went ahead and got quit for Vino locked up, and then he came back and said something else but anyways as more details come out about this i'll definitely let y'all know let me know something coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out